Sometimes easy to poke fun at Apple for making very small changes and then hyping them up like crazy. But this year, with Apple's iPhone 14 Pro and a slew of other announcements, they're actually bringing some really new and novel features. So let me tell you everything Apple just announced, including a few that are really surprising. The iPhone 14 and 14 Pro are official, and somehow Apple introduced four new phones that are simultaneously boring and crazy exciting. So the, so the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max is where the exciting new features come in. So overall, the design of the phone looks similar to the 13 Pro, but I've got a few pretty big differences. So the biggest visual change is just right on the screen with what we thought was gonna be that pill cutout, uh, but Apple's actually calling this thing Dynamic Island. Uh, it's a silly name, but it's a replacement for the notch we've had since 2018. Instead, this cutout is dynamic and adjusts depending on what you are doing. So unlike the notch, it just stays there being all black and boring, so if you get a phone call, the island will expand to show you that info. Or if you have a timer, you'll see that at the top. And third-party apps can use that too. We've always wanted Apple or something more at the top of the screen, and it seems that they finally did it. And it looks awesome. The screen features a new always-on display. I know, Android's had it for years. That dims and lets you always see your information. On the back of the phone is the last really huge change. There's a new 48 megapixel main camera. It is 65% larger than the current iPhone 13 Pro, has more resolution and detail, especially in low light. Uh, this is the first time we've seen a megapixel upgrade in the iPhone since the 6S. So this is a feature that obviously was really needed and one that I want to test out. Also a bunch of smaller improvements, a uh, new A16 processor, uh, much brighter screen, better camera. On the less exciting end, uh, regular iPhone 14 is not all that different from the iPhone 13, aside from one change, the iPhone 14 Plus. Uh, this is a bigger 6.7 inch version of the iPhone 14 that gives you more screen and better battery life. There's also a new SOS via satellite that lets you connect to emergency services from anywhere using satellites. That's also in the Pro. Best thing of all though, the price for all these phones is going to stay the same. Uh, they will be available to order on September 9th and ship on the 16th. So Apple also introduced the second generation AirPods Pro. Uh, it's been in the works for a long time now and the rumors were true. They look identical to the first gen, uh, but the changes are on the inside. So there's a new H2 chip that uses high bandwidth to send higher quality signals for better audio. There are new drivers inside to make the listening experience better. Plus there's new touch controls on the stem that you directly control volume for the first time. A really major feature change we've wanted since the original AirPods were released. There's better noise cancellation and transparency mode, but the biggest visual change comes with the case. It's got a speaker built in for Find My support. It's also gonna make a sound when you charge, pair, or use the AirPods. It's also a new lanyard loop, so help you not lose them. Just like with the iPhone though, the best thing about these is the price. Same as before, 249 bucks, and it'll be out September 23rd. Apple Watch, uh, this is a big year for the Apple Watch. We saw three new versions. There's a new Apple Watch SE, I guess two, that keeps the same design, but adds more features. Apple Watch Series 8, that is the same basic design as the Series 7, but with more help features like temperature control and crash detection. But Apple also introduced a brand new Apple Watch Ultra. And this is the ultimate watch for adventurers uh, and is packed with features. So many, in fact, that I'm not gonna cover them all here. I have to make a separate video on that is a chunky boy coming in at 49 millimeters. It's built in titanium, has a flat screen and an action button fused in different apps. It also has better fitness tracking, better water resistance for scuba diving and a ton more. Surprising though, the price of this watch is way less than a thousand bucks we were expecting. It comes in at 799. Cellular is included with all these options and can be ordered today.